Hi friends, welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to compute a problem okay, uh, that deals with the operating cycle and cash cycle. Now, uh, in the description box below, I am going to insert a link that will take you to the documents that contains all these formulas and some introduction on working capital, the different types, you know, classification, classification of working capital and so on. All right. So I'm not going to spend time, you know, explaining to you all these uh, different, you know, of uh, uh, formulas. But remember that, you know, the operating cycle basically has four, you know, uh, four stages, the raw materials, storage period, work in progress, uh, storage period or stage, finished goods stage or storage period and, uh, you know, data collection period. But we also have, uh, we also have, you know, the collect, the, uh, the creditors payment period. Whenever we calculate the cash cycle, we have to deduct the, the, the creditors payment period from the sum of all these four stages. All right. So this is how you know, these are the formula. I'm not going to spend time going through this because, you know, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. So you can get, you know, you can get access to all these formulas. But let's look at this problem where we have to calculate the operating cycle as well as, well as the cash cycle. Company ABC has the financial data of the op operating and closing balance of the different current assets and current liabilities as shown, S-H-O-W-N below, all right, there's a mistake there. Opening balance of raw material, work in progress, finished goods, accounts receivable, accounts payable, it's all given in, uh, okay, uh, rupees, in thousand. Closing balance is also given, okay, for raw material, work, work in process, finished goods, accounts receivable, accounts payable. Then you have raw material purchases, manufacturing expenses, depreciation, custom and excise duties, selling expenses, as well as your sales, which is for 54,000. Calculate the operating cycle period and cash cycle period for the firm. Now, before we calculate the operating cycle as well as the cash cycle, first thing you, we need to do is we have to find out the different stages of the operating cycle. Okay, F calculate that. Okay, so solution. Okay, number one is you have to find out what is the raw material storage period. All right. Now, what is the raw material storage period? The raw material to storage period is nothing but, you know, average stock of raw material divided by the raw materials consumed per day. And how do you find out the average stock of raw materials? The average stock of raw material is nothing but the opening stock of raw material, which is 340 here, plus the closing stock of, closing balance of raw material, which is 4,000. Okay, divided by two, we have to take the average. Divided by raw material consumed per day. So we take 340, the opening balance, plus any purchases. Yes, raw material purchases, 11,000. Minus 4,000, the closing stock. Divided by the, you know, the time period. And we, we assume, now the time period here is not given, so we assume it to be a year. All right, so divided by 365. And when you calculate that, you'll get, Numerator will be 2170 divided by 20.11. Okay, you'll get 107.91 days. Okay, so we are done with the raw material storage period. Second one is the work in progress, work in progress or WIP ESS storage period or stage. Again, how do you find out the work in progress storage period? Work in progress is nothing but average stock of work in progress divided by cost of production per day. All right, so average stock. So what is your work opening pro work in progress? Opening work in progress is 56, closing work in progress 72. So 56 plus 72 
divided by 2 okay and you have to divide by 56 plus raw material consumed now what is raw material consumed remember raw, raw material consumed is nothing but you know 340 plus 11,000 minus 4,000 you will get 7,340 all right plus any manufacturing expenses 1100 because we are finding out here we are finding out what is the cost of production per day so you have to take the raw material consume plus the manufacturing expenses plus also depreciation we have depreciation here 240 all right 240 uh, minus the closing WIP work in progress which is 72 divided by 365 so you'll get that as 64 and 23.74 which is equal to 2.7 days all right third one is your finished goods C so finished goods storage period or stage is equal to the average stock of finished goods all right average stock of finished goods what is average stock finished goods opening finished goods plus closing finished goods divided by two so what is finished goods here opening 630 closing is 1000 so 630 plus 1000 divided by two okay and Divided by what? Divided by the average cost of goods sold. Now, how do you find the average cost of goods sold? 630 plus the cost of production. So, you have to take this. You have to add 56 plus 7,340 plus 1,100 plus 240 minus 72. And you will get uh, 8,664. All right, when you add all this, 56 plus 7340 plus 1100 plus 240 minus 72, you'll get 8664 plus any customs and excise duty, 35,000 plus any selling and administrative expenses, which you have here, yes, 4500, 4500. Minus 1,000. Okay. Divided by 365 days. Okay. So, you will get 815. 815 numerator. The denominator will be 133.41. And you get 6.11 days. All right. Now, D. Data's collection period. So, what is data's collection period? Data's collection period is nothing but average data's. Okay. So, what is average data's? Average now data's is also accounts rece receivables. Here, seven fifty. This is opening data's. Closing data's is one thousand one hundred. So, seven fifty plus 1100 all right divided by 2 and the whole thing you take uh, sales now here you see sales here it's not mentioned whether it's credit or debit so we always assume it to be credit all right so what is the sales so 54000 divided by 365 so you'll get 900 and 25 your numerator denominator will be 147.95 uh, which equals to 6.25 days so we are done with data's collection period last one is your uh, creditors c r e d i t o r s creditors payment period okay and the creditors payment period is also the uh, accounts payable so when you see the word accounts payable that is also creditors all right um, which is a current liability what is a creditors payment period it's nothing but average creditors divided by credit purchases per day 
Now, what is accounts payable here? Opening is 2,500. Closing is 3,000. So, 2,500 plus closing. Okay, divided by 2. The whole thing is then credit purchases per day. Now, where is the credit purchases per day if you see here? There. Now, what are you going to purchase? You're going to purchase raw materials, right? On credit. So, this is your purchases here. 11,000. So, 11,000 divided by 365, you will get 200 and, I mean, 2,750 divided by 30.14 equals to 91.24. So, there we have it. We've calculated the uh, you know, five stages, the raw material storage period, work in progress, the uh, stage, the finished goods stage, your data's collection period, as well as creditors payment period. And now you find out the operating cycle. So the operating cycle, duration of operating cycle, okay, you write it like that, duration of operating cycle is equal to, here the raw material storage period, 107.91 plus 2.7 plus 6.11 plus 6.25 that will give you 122.97 days okay we assume it to be in days okay because nothing is been mentioned Okay, we assume it to be in days. And your, now your cash cycle will be your operating cycle, which is 122.97 minus your creditor's payment period, okay, which is 91.24, so equals to 31.73 days. So there you have it. We know how to calculate the operating cycle as well as the cash cycle. Stay tuned, I will uh, create more, two more videos as of now, two more videos on uh, working capital management, that is the computation of net working capital required.